What's up guys, it's Mr. Janvet and today we are back for probably the biggest on the contrary episode yet for season three. Uh <laughs> you know, of course we have uh my partner in crime today, Pokey MMD. Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokey in here. I'm back. We're doing this. You know, we're living big. Subscribe. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already, man. Trying to get Jam to 11,000 million subscribers. Facts. 20,000. Journey to 20,000 by the end of the year. Let's get it back yeah. to... Uh, Dude, we could... Yeah, yo, if you do that, man, you back. Yeah. To, cool. um, yeah, it'd be actually... Let's let's aim for that for the end of the year. Because uh, that was when I got hacked. I got hacked... I started the Academy about like mid-December after the hacking so like if we can get to 20,000 that would be like an amazing year because boom we uh we officially Ooh. like yeah we officially replaced the U Jared University and like we're back and bigger than ever so like especially post DLC let's let's make it happen guys if you are not subscribed subscribe right now for these amazing podcasts the best Pokemon pack podcast around um and today and today we're going to be discussing um the meta game, like people have been, especially Joey, and he's gonna get into that in a sec. Um, I haven't got the opportunity to do a ton of games like I'd like to, but that's gonna happen soon. Um, but Joey has been, you know, has been granted the opportunity to play quite a few, and so he has a better understanding of what the patterns are and and what the general consensus is around certain Pokemon. So um, stay tuned. This is gonna be legendary. Um, but yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, so, like, bro, you just hype me up like so much. <laughs> like, like, I'm obviously. <laughs> so I, I, from a non-competitive perspective, uh, just like an enjoyment perspective, I think the meta game is like the best spin in terms of sword and shit. The most exciting it's been mm -hmm, since mm -hmm. maybe Dynamax was around, uh, and Dynamax was always like a flippy subject. Some loved it, some hated it, mm -hmm. uh, for good reason. I feel. But the metagame right now is definitely really exciting because I feel like you can use so many things and because it hasn't settled yet, you know, typically a metagame will settle. If you go to the uh, the post-home metagame, you'd see like these really, really hard balances with like Wish, Teleport, Clef, plus Corviknight, uh, plus Friends going from there, like a, a Hex, mm. Dragapult, and you know, games will be lasting a long time and that's just how it is. We didn't really have any crazy breakers or anything, you'd see like a balanced bulk of Zero Aura, but now that we have some Pokemon that came back, we have Marowak, which came back, Alolan Marowak, in my opinion, and we'll probably go a little bit more into detail on this mm -hmm. in a bit. But Alolan Marowak, in my opinion, is the most splashful Pokemon right now, kind of similar to how it was in the beginning of uh, Sun and Moon, where there was, you know, Top of Coco and Feramosa, and you could use Alolan Marowak just to check them easily. Um, similar to that, Alolan Marowak is back, and, you know, it's it's so splashable. We have Volcarona making a return. Um, uh, from a defensive standpoint, we have uh, Tangrowth. Uh, obviously, and and Skarmory, though Skarmory a little bit, I've seen a little bit less, but Slowbro I think and Tangrowth are really big when it comes to the defensive standpoint, uh, and Amoongus, uh, just Amoongus and Tangrowth just being around, invalidate the top ten usage we saw of Zero Aura prior oh, man. Uh, to the DLC coming got out. Hit. Yeah, got and th that's what I'm hard. saying. Like Jim, you gave me so much, but there's so many topics we can discuss in this, and then of course uh, one of the big ones too, uh, Yoshifu and Magirna. Uh, Yoshifu, single strike specifically because I think rapid strike has way too many natural counters. Uh, just to name a few right now for those that are struggling with rapid strike. And this is from a single standpoint. Mm -hmm. In doubles, I think rapid strike is better. In singles, though, because it has a lot more support and just mm -hmm. it's, it's good. But in singles, you know, you have Amoongus, Azumarill, Primarina, Toxapex is the huge one. Uh, that just straight up wall. Uh, it's dual coverage, Slowbro as well. Um, and then even, you know, Thunder Punch doesn't do much to any of these. And it, it cannot break through Tangrowth plus Amoongus, period, if they're like Rocky Helmet. Mm -hmm. So even when it's creating it, actually, it sucks it has a multi-strike move because it takes Rocky Helmet on all three. Mm -hmm. So just to let you guys know. But And then, of course, Magirna, they got a whole lot of new toys. We have Agility. Uh, we have the big ones are Draining Kiss and Stored Power, I would say. Um, obviously, because uh, Combine, Iron Defense, Draining Kiss, Stored Power is a really deadly sweeper. Um, and while it doesn't have the oomph from Z moves and it can't abuse Dynamax in singles, uh, it definitely can run a, a bunch of fun sets too. We've seen Trick as well be taken advantage of on Specs and Choice Scarf sets as well. Mm. And uh, okay. even on Trick Room variants, uh, or even like offensive variants with Life Orb are running Shadow Ball because it Oko's Max HP Marowak. Mm. So 
which is like one of the number one. And uh, again, we'll get into Marowak right there, but uh, I don't know if you want to start taking it away with Marowak because I find I kind of feel like I gave a, a, a broad overview of. I mean, what's since around. since you're like you seem. It seems to be at the forefront of your mind, so I don't think it makes sense to delay it. Okay, so okay, I'll it. take it back. I'll pass the baton back. What's up, guys? I'm Pokey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, go ahead, go ahead. What's, what's Marowak? So Marowak. Marowak S- sell me Pokemon. Marowak, Joey, because I'm, oh, I'm, I'm not buying it. Do you want a Pokemon <laughs> that naturally checks Magirna, that naturally checks Volcarona, that destroy has the power of a Swords Dance with just one item, that breaks through fat cords with tan growth and 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 slow burrow and honestly can also provide stealth rock if you need at your leisure uh well marowak a little marowak is that pokemon um it can naturally check because of lightning rod's ability giving it not only does it already have an immunity to fighting and immunity to normal but it also has this immunity to electric with lightning rod which stops volt switch magirna um, it stops Volt Switch Rotom, and it also naturally resists fire, so it can stop Rotom Heat as well. That's why a lot of Rotom are starting to run. Um, I personally still run Speedy Rotom, just because Heracross is around, but a lot of Rotom are starting to run more physically defensive with like Toxic and, and Pain Split uh, type of thing in an attempt to uh, deal or switch in once to Marowak. Um, but Marowak just naturally attacks Pokemon like Volcarona. There's no hidden power ground. The, the best that uh, Volcarona can do is Psychic versus uh, Marowak. Um, and at neutral, it doesn't do a KO. Max HP Marowak, it is 43% max to 248 HP Marowak. So it's really nice. And obviously at plus one, it's uh, doing, I think at the most, like around 76%, but that's like, that's even like less HP invested. So uh, Marowak being able to check that, being able to get up Stealth Rock, it has a new move in Poltergeist, uh, which is, though it already had uh, one of the best, probably physical ghost moves ever because they're, they were so limited, now we have more. Mm-hmm. And Shadow Bone, which is 85 base, power 100% accuracy poltergeist is stronger with um 110 base power uh and 90% accuracy now the drawback of course is app and also if the opponent doesn't have an item uh they can't actually use poltergeist on it but like uh that's why you also see sometimes no item slow bro and that's why i i made a moveset guide on marowak but i also stress that like you know if your team is running you know dual knockoffs or anything like that um don't run poltergeist it doesn't make sense i had a team of crocodile plus rillaboom and I was like, that's enough for Slowbro anyway, in my opinion. Um, not to mention, like, I had Rotom Heat on the team, too. So, offensively, I think I could deal with it. So, I was like, yeah, I'm running Shadow Bone because I'm clicking Knock Off. But that's why you'll see, like, no item Coma O, no item Slowbro uh, in an attempt to deal with Poltergeist uh, because it can naturally resist, obviously, the Flare Blitz or Fire Punch, which is another trade off, by the way, because not only can Marowak do that from the defensive, offensive standpoint, like as a tank, it can also just be a straight up Trick Room Sweeper um, or Nuke as you might say because as the rocket ability so it can use its strongest moves and flare blitz uh, not take any recall from that and then of course you have your your final move which is usually between bone meringue or earthquake bone meringue makes sense now because grassy terrain is around um obviously the drawback is it can miss but it makes sense it's, it's better that than have earthquake be weakened by the grass terrain because rillaboom is definitely caught up in popularity and i would not be surprised if it was all you next month um oh yeah so, for sure yeah for sure. yeah uh but yeah, like I, I, a standard Marowak move set would be uh, your Ghost move, so either Shadow Bone or Poltergeist, your Fire move, Flare Blitz or Fire Punch, depending on you, and then Boomerang or Earthquake, and then your last move, uh, really Swords Dance, Stealth Rock. Uh, well, I do think that Stealth Rock is kind of wasted on Marowak, um, because it's kind of like Mammal Swine Syndrome, where you have so much attack, you want to get off damage. Mm. If you've like knocked off a. a Amanda Buzz, or you want to pressure a switch, and Marowak does force a lot of switches. And you no, know, they have Amanda Buzz that is going to end up defogging anyway. If you want to force a defog to give you an extended turn, I would call it right. So you can do something on turn 12 because you click Stealth Rock on turn 11 freely, right? Like you can get in your your uh, your Magirna, which might have been two KO by foul play uh, or something, or if because it's at like 10, percent and you can pain split off on Amanda Buzz because if they if Stealth Rock up, they'll die. Um, so, like, Marowak is just, like, really splashable because it just checks so many common Pokemon and it hits so hard, and it always does this. It's, it's been doing this since it came out, which was, you know, last generation. At the beginning of the generation, it's really good, and honestly, I don't think it'll be, especially if Urshifu ends up getting, you know, suspected or banned, like, mm-hmm. a single strike, I don't think this, this will be a Pokemon that kind of falls over. I think this will be a Pokemon that has, you know, always will have a solid presence, because I think it has a more solid presence in this current metagame, especially with Volcarona around and Magirna and Rotom Heat being so popular because of heavy duty boots, than it did ever in Sun and Moon with Pheromos and Tapu Koko. And not to mention Tapu Koko is going to be coming back later this year. So, mm-hmm. Marowak, fantastic. 
offensive presence, fantastic natural check to a lot of Pokemon, and you can really just customize your speed on it too. So I think I think that's all I'd say about Marowak. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. No, I think it's uh, I haven't had I haven't used it yet, but I, you know, obviously we all know what Marowak does. Um, the thing that happened with Marowak the last generation is with the fast powerhouses. Unless it was Trick Room, you didn't really see it on teams anymore. However, with with just the nature of how, because you know, let's not forget that the cores of the past, those mons are still in use. They're just not dominant. And so, what I mean by that is the Hippo Clef, um, the Hippo Clef, Toxapex, Corviknights. These Pokemon are just not used together like that. I mean, so Marowak, interestingly enough, absolutely puts a bone, um, pun intended, in all these mons. And so they cannot just sit. Imagine if we just put Marowak last last like pre-home like just that's the only pokemon we injected back into the meta game completely invalidates every one of those cores swords dance none of them would be alive like every one of them drops and so you know obviously could set up on clef um pecs would get dropped all of them and so it even has solid stats for those annoying pesky bulk up cinderaces or those spamming cinderace other than zen headbutt like can't do much and so you know even there like i think it has a unique ability to be offensively threatening but just has just enough bulk and an amazing typing to where even defensively like it can pull certain switches and then if you're not at an offensive advantage versus marowak when it's in and you're not doing at least 60 percent to it you're probably gonna lose a mind because it's such a hard thing to switch into and there's no Lando. There no there's no real intimidate in OU at the moment. Yep. Um and so once it clicks Even poltergeist. They do poltergeist. It mm-hmm. tells you their item too, which is pretty useful as well. Uh, I forgot to note that. Poltergeist will tell you your opponent's item because it technically hits them with their item, which is why it doesn't work if they don't have an item. Mm-hmm. So like if you're not sure what your opponent I mean a lot of Pokemon you can, you know, infer, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Go ahead. My bad. Uh, you can go ahead. I just want to say that. No, no, no. I was I was pretty much wrapped up. But it's just, um, it's one of those things. Like, but what The reason I think it won't, like, just sink like it did in the previous. Well, we'll see in Crown Tundra. Like, that may be a possibility to where, it, I wouldn't say it necessarily falls from OU, but it may drop, like, as far as its relevancy um but like i think the meta is still relatively slow by a way of looking at it and the big thing is the fast minds um in zero aura and dragapult well actually dragapult's physical sets have been picking up um but i mean dragapult's just going to be a staple no matter what yeah. but, but the the fast minds in zero aura are also a non-factor now um alakazam is the next other fast one um cinderace isn't the best versus marowak anyway um and so they're just not a lot of things as slow as marowak is they're just not a lot of things that that just can outspeed it and do damage at the same time um again the dragapults the hydragons those are the few but majority of teams four out of six of those mons unless it's just a straight up hyper offensive team are going to likely be slower than marowak if you're running speed and we're looking at you're just getting smacked or it's going to be a mid-tier like a rotom or a como um and then when the problem with that is those mons have to go for certain moves versus marowak um so if rotom comes in on marowak obviously they run lightning rod or i mean sometimes they can have rockhead too it has to go for something like toxic and so you can play accordingly and it just puts a lot of pressure so i'm, I'm curious to see how marowak is going to do in tournament play um that's somewhere it always would struggle to see usage um, yeah. outside of trick room and so let's see if it'll actually be something that people view with the same respect they'd view putting let's say a like a kiram on their team you know what i mean like it's like just a wall breaker yeah you put Mm -hmm. on kira yeah yeah i get you i get Mm -hmm. you there's a big thing about marowak um 
that it's like I said, I think it's really possible, especially on the ladder. But you make up a good point, or you bring up a good point rather. Uh, I do think that tournament will, like what people use, will obviously shift based on, like for example, the if mm. the first week tournaments, like we're in wave one of World Cup. I'm sure people are going to use completely different things by the time we're in round two of World Cup, right? Or or anything. Just after, even after just seeing like the first game played, people are going to change what they think. Like, oh, that's cool, cool. So, but yeah, I, I still think, like I said, Marowak is an incredible mod. Oh and, yeah. Um, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, like and from and from a defensive standpoint, like as a tank, it's it's not that bulky, right? It's base sixty HP and then a one ten defense, which is nice. But the the it's typically taking special attacks mm. uh, when it comes to Marowak, so eighty uh, base special defense and stuff. Um, and obviously, it has to worry about knockoff. But like it, it's just it has that. I've always said I've said this for years about regular Marowak and Alola Marowak. It has that nasty habit of just barely surviving every hit, <laughs> and 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 just getting it. And yeah, just getting off. a hit off, and mm-hmm. if you get it, if you give it a hit off, man, it's, it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. Like, like Marowak don't you don't play. It's, it's very hard to. Very few things are surviving a super effective hit from that, yeah. if any, because um, people struggle taking neutral hits. So imagine yep. super effective hits, and you know, obviously immune to fighting, which is a big one for Conk. Um, immune to normal for you know extreme speed users, non-existent. But you get the idea. Yep. Um, immune. That's extreme speed, light noon. <laughs> light noon. Uh, and yeah, so like, I think Marowak is is sold pretty well. I think most people already kind of agreed. Um, let's hope it doesn't fall into the same category as Mammoth Swine, where you know, Mammoth Swine is also very threatening, but just never can switch into things, and so you know, well, just yeah, always yeah, struggle. Yeah. yeah. It's just have to get the free switch or Mamo is never coming in. That's always been its struggle. Um, also, Magnezone. Being able to deal with Magnezone is really cool, too. Sorry. That's true, true, that. true, true. Well, kind of. Flash Cannon isn't fun, but it, you get the idea. Yeah, like it can, yeah. it makes it have to think twice about yeah. clicking Volt Switch. Been messing um, with analytic specs, by the way. It's really good. Man, I'm, I think Magnezone is better than well we'll see as the metagame develops but i think people are just excited to use magnezone but it's actually you know in my top six like magnezone was number six but the way it's performing now like it's doing better than tangrowth and scissor you know and so yeah I, I discussed in there that it's just it's typing as a whole like would be good for just the cores uh, but i didn't think it'd be this fucking good and i didn't factor in the speed tiers of things and so zone is actually lead, like low-key fast like for yep. this meta yep and so and it's not the easiest thing to kill without a ground move because most fire types aren't stabbed and so it it's doing its damn thing right now i'll give magnus on that like it's doing its damn thing um but yeah now that marowak is out of the way um this isn't actually uh, a new mod. We're just going to be discussing metagame as a whole, but what are you thinking of Aza Slash? I think Aza Slash is going to... I think people are excited about the new things now. And so, I've seen a decline in usage in Aza Slash, Cinderace, um, Aza Slash, Cinderace, uh, like, actual extra drill, meaning Sand Rush. Yeah. Um, and things of that nature. But I think those things are still as lethal as they were. They were before, yeah. I think Age Slash is still stupid good. I would super argue. Deadly. Yeah, I think it's stupid good. Like, uh, and even Subtoxic. I think Subtoxic right now is really nice too. Um, one thing, obviously, to keep in mind is that, like, your Shifu crits and it also breaks through, like, Protect and stuff. So I'm pretty sure with King Shield as well, that is also uh, mm-hmm. broken through since it's considered a Protect type move. Um, but I do think that Subtoxic Age Slash is actually pretty solid right now for its ability to uh, deal with mandibuzz but i really really like specs especially because toxic like if before you thought it had to run physically defensive because of jake dracovish and mm-hmm. uh, you know things now it really has to run physically defensive because of uh your shifu critting and even then it gets to a ko so i like, think it, go ahead oh what were you saying no i was gonna say you mentioned subtoxic I, you know just because it was dominant back in like Gen 6, but I think I've used several Aegis Slash sets. Uh, people generally go locked in with a particular set, but just a st- dual stab Toxic King Shield set. Yeah, would it's merc, really good. Yeah. Would merc most teams. Merc. Especially, the dual especially stab is too good. Ball. Like, I think you just gotta run speed for like Marowak, but I, 
like I would still consider running like above 207 speed for even Jolly Marowak. I would still consider running in Azu and things like that. Um, but yeah, I can easily merc, uh, especially like balance squads that are depending on, oh hey, uh, my 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 resist to ghost, which is what it is. It's like a frail dark type like your Shifu, or uh, or you know my Spadefical Fable, which Marowak, I mean which Age Slash has the dual stab for. So um, I mean, I, think about the ghost resist in the tier. Yeah. What, what are taking? Which ones are taking toxic, and taking yeah. shadow ball? I mean, yeah. it's flash cannon. Flash cannon. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. I actually think age slash is definitely something that's overlooked right now too. Um, though, time. though I would argue, uh, I actually think Rotom Heat's better right now than it was. Post Rotom Heat. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. I I do. Uh, I can defend that later if you want as well. But I mean, we'll, we'll, you can talk about it now. Like, why are you trying to delay uh, stuff? <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm just saying with the inclusion of Slowbro, with the inclusion of Marowak, and it being able to toxic. Not that it's a uh, weird thing, but like being being able to reliably Volt Switch on Rotom as, uh, Volcarona as well. Uh, but what, what, what it, makes you what makes you think it's better? Like, because to me, I that's because, implying because, that because bro. Zone, because Rillaboom, because it's faster than Rillaboom, because it's faster than Heracross. Um, and Rillaboom has a huge thing because it can naturally check things like Halucha because Clef is still really good and it can nasty plot and break through them uh, because Tangrowth is around and I can you know set up on that sort of thing and and there's a there's a lack of even I would say a lack of even like uh, zero aura to knock it off right like knockoff is still but I'm saying like with like I understand the logic from an idealistic standpoint as what's got introduced but what does the meta game look like? I don't see too many. There's also there's also less size in total, which that's is, that's true. Yeah, that's a, like, which is a which is a huge thing because the other ground types this mod beats. Like what are the other ground types? Hip out on. But Seismato <laughs> dropped since Dracovish dropped. So like what I'm saying is, if say let's say Rotom was like top, like if you were to think about a mod to put it, on a it team, it would be on you know it was top five mods, right? Okay. Like you'd be arguing that Rotom is still top five now, which is that's what I'm saying. When you say better, but it, better as in if, if before it was placed number five in top five, maybe right now it's placed number four. Like you think you, th you think Rotom can get top five in this meta game? I know for a fact Rotom can get top ten in this meta game. Not maybe <laughs> not this shift because they're only doing shifts for the last thirteen days for this month. So we're actually gonna have some crazy changes. Like we might not even see like what's a. Like if there's not, not, not program, usage, not usage. I'm talking about like because usage does not relate to what's actually effective. Yes, but but usage does show what's used. If you're selling me top five, I I think Rotom. I'm is saying top, top top five. I don't think Rotom was necessarily. I think it was probably top ten. It was, it was a it was like a top eleven, top twelve usually. Uh, there are times where it actually was like top ten, but it, I'm talking. I'm, I'm not talking about again. Usage doesn't show. I mean. Who was OU for the longest? Uh, Mimikyu. I like Mimikyu is it like usage doesn't that because it's you know you have that's the entire ladder, and so we can't. It's not like you know the top seventeen hundred up like categorizes yeah, okay, most so of the I, usage. So, so, usage. so I'm saying like but you're you're not arguing for usage. You're arguing for it is better. Like it is more effective yes, than it was. I, I, I think that now in terms of being a splashable, if you want a splashable defensive Pokemon. Mm -hmm. that uh that deals with a lot of the more offensive ones that are coming up right like i said uh magirna rillaboom rotom is your pokemon right like if you don't want to use marowak uh, obviously they they deal with similar pokemon but in a different way um mm -hmm. uh, rotom is your go-to pokemon and also that like you don't have to worry about hazard control it also provides defog uh, i think that uh, rotom though does have the uh it can also be a pseudo star breaker too if they're running a bad chancy which is something to keep in mind like if they're running if you're nasty plot a pain split uh, and they're running thunder wave mm -hmm. you break stall <laughs> like unless they're running quag like you literally yeah. break stall yeah. so uh that's why i think rotom gets better um because um, i think just like what's around and the decline of dracovish as you mentioned uh just means way less side so i like i think like the best side until right now is actually like on a rain team if i'm even willing to run that over like king jabara skudo which i'm not mm -hmm. but uh and like Fizz Death side until just gets wall breaked by your Shifu. So like if you want something that can actually you get a lot more value out of it than Marowak you get rocks and you get a kill. But that's what Marowak would do. Uh Rotom can play the long game. Uh Marowak has a lot of trouble doing that, I feel. Um yeah, I agree with that. Like Rotom can do it in its own right. Like it doesn't need wish support. It doesn't 
and it doesn't care about stealth rock. I mean, if, even if you get knocked off by Rotom, whatever, mm -hmm. Rotom's the type of Pokemon that will stop you from losing to, and I'm not bringing up this because of your thing, but like even mm -hmm. in my own games, I did the same thing. Uh, like a Grassy Glide, Rillaboom, which I think is really good too right now, um, especially with the decline of Corviknight. Um, and even then, it could actually even beat Corviknight without Brave Bird, which is funny. So like, I think that really does like make Rotom uh, better at the moment. And okay. yeah, and again, as you mentioned, the lack of uh, there's still drill. Obviously, there's still Mold Breaker drill. I've seen some rock variants. I've seen I've still seen SD, and I've seen obviously Lead Sash because uh, I think offense is really nice right now too. Um, Which is why uh, I'm saying like with the um, it's it's because when again when I think of better, it's like okay, not in theory because if sand growth is only seen barely four percent yeah usage. yeah like one, you know what i'm if, saying if it's like yeah if it's like one out of 20 games no, i get what you mean so like so, I, let me go even a little bit further uh because your shifu validates uh physically defensive mandibuzz um uh talk to uh togekiss as answers right fairy types as answers and because rotom has a natural type advantage versus those and can muscle through them with you know nasty thought variants or even toxic voltage pain split variants I think that that makes Rotom a way better Pokemon, and mm -hmm. even to a lesser extent, right? We obviously have Scizor, Skarmory, um, mm -hmm. Pokemon that came around. So I, I think that does make Rotom better. And I even like I fought an H Slash with King Shield Toxic. Actually, it was subtoxic. It was actually very annoying because uh, mm -hmm. I was using Balance. Um, so you know, it just it subbed on my po and I couldn't like right. stay with Tangrowth because Shadow Ball still does a million damage. Um, mm -hmm. But it it I think it just makes it a lot better. Like it's it's Rotom. I I think it's Whoops. still splash. I think it's still yeah. splashable, and I think that a lot of Pokemon going down, specifically Size and Toad, and mm -hmm. because the ground types right now don't really threaten it unless you're like Motor Breaker or Exodus, which cannot switch in, which mm -hmm. cannot switch in, right. and uh, yeah, it just makes a huge difference for this Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad now or anything like that. I'm no, no, no. better, you know, because that's a that's a very bold statement. So, because I think what from what I've seen, there are a lot of heavier offensive teams, which Rotom isn't gonna do. Like, it'll do its job to it, but it's not, like, Rotom pre this gen was, like, really fucking hard to kill if you didn't, like, because they'd have so many walls. Yeah. And so, you know, if you had a Rotom hitter, they had three mons that could switch into whatever yep. that mon is. And so that contributed to Rotom's dominance. But in this meta, you know, obviously it has a lot more things that it can hit. Which you could argue, okay, well, that makes it better, but if the things don't get If it doesn't usage, have the opportunity to, like, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. then is it really better? So, like, I'll have to see with the, the metagame shifting. I still think it's a beast on paper. You know what I mean? I don't know. As I've, as I've used it multiple times, uh -huh. especially with, like, even, like, beating Volcarona has become flow charty. Um, Rotom Volt switch into, like, my Azu. Rotom Volt switch into my Mon that... To, to, like type of thing like mm -hmm. i just think it just bring it has so much value like i think it has oh, a lot yeah. more, and it's a lot easier to volt switch is the one thing that i also want to make like i said before it's a lot easier to volt switch i don't have to nasty pot to do 40 percent the size to take 45 percent from skull to have clefable wish it back to eventually i either worn down size to hazards or knock off or whatever so that rodham doesn't have to do that anymore like it doesn't mm. Excellent I don't, point. and I mean, and who knows? Like, if your Shifu gets banned, Rotom could just be like Size and Toad might actually rise up in usage. Uh, mm -hmm. If you look at, you know, if you want like a, a ground type that can check X Y Z, but I think with the offensive, like the mid tier one, we talk about mid speed tier, and you said mm -hmm. Rotom. Uh, if you go a little bit lower, Heracross is a fantastic wall breaker with Swords Dance. It even got Spike now, but I mean, you can use it if you want. I think Spike is cool. I don't mm -hmm. think it's any Greninja because I feel like if you get a free turn with Heracross and you have the opportunity to sweep them, if they go Pex, you want SD. Right, mm. but unless you're using Bandit, I could see yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. A case um, Bandit, spike. Bandit, you can spike for sure because you only need what close combat knockoff. I don't even. Well, yeah, I don't. You mean you kind of sometimes you want earthquake. Facade I mean, is this facade? Is, like, facade. I was gonna say like Mega Horn or facade, but um, even Quake, bro. I'd rather run Quake on Bandit, I think, because Age Slash and Pox Specs in one. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like uh, Rotom having that speed tier that is just faster than Rillaboom, just faster than uh, Heracross, just plays a role too. Oh yeah, um, I still again still think it's a solid mine. So like, it's not to say it's now shit, um, but I also think in due time, particularly with a bunch of rain, I'm surprised I haven't seen it yet. But Gastrodon will be surging soon. I promise you. I, that. I think a lot of this has to do with the fact that your Shifu is allowed. Now, if that mon gets suspect tested, 
and I'm specifically again uh, I want to stress that I'm specifically talking about single strike not not rapid strike and I do think rapid strike has time to grow and be better sure with the proper team support maybe um, but I think that like if single strike is still around we're not going to see certain certain play styles like 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 balance is very tough I think to run like just a hard balance like I think if you're going to run like a bulky offense or offense or straight stall sure but like a balanced team that uh, revolves around slower mons coming in and getting wished past by the fable and stuff it's very kind of difficult uh why because you'll, you'll be you'll be overwhelmed uh by, by like bandit by bandit your shifu or no, by by, by by marowak or by by even like things like zone but or balance like was never balance doesn't mean you have five slow mons well it, it course, evolved into that it means that you have like three defensive mons and three likely offensive mons so you know, like let's say if you run in Hippo on Toxapex, Clef, or Corvette, whatever that combination is. Um, Hippo and Pex do not lose to Marowak nor Yushifu. Like now, they don't enjoy switching in because of the. But like if you build correctly, you can. Like Yushifu isn't like uncounterable by any means. So it's like. It's. We'll see. Like I have to. That's why I would. Shit just starts. People are all oh, banned. This man. Like I'd have to see, because a lot of people just don't know how to build first and foremost. But those I mean, both lose the swords and Smerlock, by the way. What? Poltergeist does ninety three percent minimum to oh this. Uh, yeah, but you're one. You're impl you're implying two things. You're implying that Marowak gets uh, the swords and off, and you're I, implying I, that yeah, the, yeah, the other the three wrong, Pokemon. I got the wrong mod, by the way. <laughs> but I'm saying like, but you're also implying that the other three mods yeah. are on the team. So like, if it's and you're implying that Marowak is in versus something you can Swords Dance in without taking a But beating even back. then, even it doesn't have to Swords Dance in that situation. It does 43 to 51% to physically defensive pattern on with Poltergeist. But I'm so saying is, that that's on paper. So yeah. like, well, when is it going to Swords Dance? Like if it's a, if it is, let's say it is a Pix, or if it's a, it is staring down Hippodon, like it can Poltergeist, it doesn't do a KO Poudon, and then you get to a KO almost dead by Earthquake. You don't beat Pex. They're starting to run Baneful Bunker, Haze, Tox, blah, blah, blah. So it's like nothing is cut and dry. I think when no, for, for, people, for sure, for sure. people discuss uh, stuff like so stuff I, like I, that, it's like, oh, well. Going, going back to what you said, though, you do 2 a KO hip on if Stealth Rock Rob. It's 70% chance to 2 a KO. And if you have Flip, it's a guaranteed 2 a KO. So, so max max hip on with Poltergeist? Max max hip on. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's 110 base power. It's freaking strong. So like, and like, and I mean, you'll say the same. Remember, bro. Like, if you're mm -hmm. saying you're running Marowak plus Shifu, I can just say, hey, I'll sack this one, so I went with this one. You know what I mean? But so, that's a, but you haven't considered the other three mods, especially course, if you're using course. offense. Like, you can just lose to an, a Zam like that or a Dragapult like that with your offense or your Cinderace like that. For sure, for sure. For so sure. It's, it's not as if what I'm saying is because this is actually something that will restrict people like when you get locked into um yeah, yeah like, I, I like, my word. like narratives of oh no, no, it's broken and then you have the whole community just saying like silly shit not not like you stock. but i mean like right like just yeah, yeah, things yeah. that aren't actually true and i think as we have a responsibility to uphold to actually have people think critically and not like blindly just listen to anything we say or listen to anything um anybody else says blindly like unless they have properly articulate their point you know and so that's why i'm like talking about rotom heat or talking about like it's not as if and a lot of times people think jam you're so like that's why it's called on the contrary guys like like i am here to help like flesh out things so you're not just meat puppets that believe everything we say and you know if jam said it it is the way like that's not what i'm hoping like i want you to be educated enough to where you go oh you know damn i actually disagree with you because of that and then i can say oh well this is why i thought that. and then you make a decision from there yeah um but uh yeah like i i think they're good i just you know again i'd like to see the meta flesh to where it's like, okay is this is this i don't want to problem solve well and like i cannot problem solve because it's so many things come into play like can you actually battle like is it to the point where can you team build like can you like you know if i want to use six ages slash of course your shifu is broken to me you know what i'm saying like i don't want to use fucking things that counter your shifu so it's like 
you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's hard to say at the time because I, but it's also hard for me to say because I have never struggled with it, and so like ever, I ever, I don't think yeah. that shit has ever done anything versus. Well, me. I mean, like I, I don't think it's like busted either. It depends on like, but I know it's like overwhelming for a lot. That and then why is that the case? That's what I'm saying. Like, is it like a, is it like a I can't beat it? because it is so overwhelming like a dynamax situation no matter what i do or is it like is it a skill deficit is it a team building deficit like i, I actually just mean it in a sense that it's it's the first time in a while that mm-hmm. we've had a wall breaker as pokemon you know what i mean like uh mm-hmm. uh the you know part of the reason that like uh, balance hard balance was like so so prominent Good. Yeah. post home is because we didn't have those cartanas we didn't have those facts specs or ninjas type of thing and now we have a pokemon that auto crits and now we have a marowak that does uh, this much damage and you no know, they're different than dracovish dracovish can click one move yeah but you got water absorb you know not that you're good you can obviously uh, we've beat people have beaten po- people with size and toad right multiple times um even if they have a dracovish on their squad yeah. but um we now have those those wall breakers yeah. and they're not the same wall breakers either but we now have those wall breakers uh-huh. um that makes a huge difference towards where the metagame goes so yeah. i mean in the sense that like it's it obviously shifted it changed yeah and again it's not as if i disagree with what you're saying or with the viewers or you know it's just that okay boom do we just like okay except this point because it's somebody said you know what i'm trying to say like yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I i have not personally and if that's the case with you and that's why you know the suspect here voting is a voting system like if if i if you personally are not struggling with it and if that's the consensus amongst you know 90 percent of the player base then the suspect will re- reflect that like 90 re- percent of the player base that actually knows how to play which is why there's a you know obviously a suspect like quota to me because if you're just uh, an 1100 player you know you have some room to grow before you can <laughs> weigh in on stuff like that and that's just that's just how things are um but if like everybody on the, the top of the ladder is like nah that shit isn't broken um then there's something to be said if 90 percent of people don't think it is you know what i mean um and if 10 percent do it's like well that's yeah, true. Uh, if 90% of the top of the players don't, I don't know. But I don't know what the consensus is currently. So it's like, okay, let's just wait and see. Um, I haven't made any decisions on your chief uh, or any of them or any of the mods, Marowak, any of them, because I haven't I haven't struggled with them, nor have I really used them. Um, well, I mean, and, they, and they also open up, like, new, mm-hmm. new ways of playing. Like, I mean, Anger yeah. Point is, for once, seeing... Some uses singles, singles use. I use I use the anger point scarf crocodile plus toxic because you switch it on the wicked blow, then you go crocodile and you get plus six attack. <laughs> you know, did you did you get any kills? Yeah, I killed four Pokemon. Oh, I no, won the no. game because of it. Nice, nice, nice. It wasn't alive. Nice, nice. That's what I, I like that creativity kind of stuff. Like, that's cool. So, like, it's it's just like things like that, like, open up because of it. So, I think it's really, I like the mod personally. What? Um, what mod? Your Shifu. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. I mean, shit. They're dope. Yeah. I actually really like the Rapid Strike. Well, I'm going to make a... In due time. I have some team building things, but I have some things I have to wrap up first. Uh, guys, just saying this to the audience. But, like, like, I think it's... I think people want it to be the dark one in the same way where it's, like, simple um i think it's in the same way when keldia was fucking released in black and white people did not think keldia was going to be good because they're like well i mean keldia had very similar checks it's tentacle uh, they thought all tentacles right tentacle like, so like Tori, that like, specs hydro pump in the rain and then what it happened? didn't bro you forgot when people saw that it didn't get, like i think you know like for example paper on paper breloom should not have been as good as it's been over generations. Well, they the stabs. freaking let ban sleep in Gen Five. They actually Dude. banned sleep recently because of Loom plus Among Us. Dude, literally, that's the point. Like, 
But on paper, Loom is slow, frail. Its stabs aren't like, bro, but like once you you take a like the Pokemon is a tool as we talked about like before in previous podcasts. And so if that mon, it doesn't need like I think when a person gets a mon, they may say, you know, well, does this beat eighty percent of the meta game or does it give eighty percent of the meta game a problem? If no, then it's a trash mon. But it may give. 40% of the metagame a certain like it may solve that particular problem so damn well That it's it's really good and you have to prepare for it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And so like that kind of thinking is like we're trying to explain. Okay, uh, maybe I shouldn't be looking at oh Conk is good or bad because There's dragon pole. Oh, it's bad hex Man, and, and like, you know, was like one of the best offensive threats we had exactly like, like who would have predicted that in the beginning? Nobody. I thought Age of Slash was gonna be more dominant than it was, but the meta game adapted, and Age of Slash was good. But it wasn't like there were no discussions of Age of Slash being banned like in the past. Like this is the longest. Is this? Is this? Yeah, this is the longest Age of Slash has been alive. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. In a meta game. Yeah. I I would say this is the longest. It's been what six months? Uh, it's been eight months, dude. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely the longest Age of Slash has been allowed. There's, All right. There's, like, I'm not even gonna fact check that. I'm pretty like, I went more than half a year with Age Slash. Yeah, yeah, because they got banned in World Cup last time. Like it was like right before. I remember CBB talking about it and whatnot. Uh, it was yeah, it was used in like round no, it was used in like uh, round one of uh, XY World Cup, and then it got banned. Did CBB use it? Is that why uh, I remember CBB having a conversation? I think with CBB him. used it versus. Adam, if I'm not mistaken, or yeah. vice versa, used it. Yeah, so yeah. it was allowed round one, and we are in round one right now. But uh, if it lasts like one or two more weeks, it's, it's literally the longest. Mm-hmm. And it's not going anywhere. Nobody's crying about Age of Slash. And so, like, even stuff like that, like, our predictions have just been. That's why metagames are so fun. We can't really. Like, it's just hard. Like, I thought Rotom would be solid, but nobody knew Rotom would be, like, way better than Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash has always just been dominant, so we assume, hey, Rotom Wash is gonna still, you know, da, 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 da. on paper, it really should have been, like, it looked like it could have been even, but Rotom Heat was just way, 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 way better. Way better. Talonflame, in the past, people were like, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Talonflame was a monster. So, it's just like, man, you really never know. Um, and so, with Rapid Strike, I think Perhaps there's a niche for like a, a certain set, certain bandit, because what it has obviously is the multi hit. It can abuse weather and it can. Um... Yeah, that multi hit is trash on Talon Flame. No, nah, I'm talking about your Shifu. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about Talon Flame. I was like, that move. Yeah, yeah, I've what used it. It's, it's pretty, Talonflame. yeah, it's weak. It's weak. Um, but that's probably with plus two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even kill Hydreigon. It does like 30% without a sd that's crazy um, it has to run jolly too which is the thing like it has to um i'm trying to lose my mind yeah, it's embarrassing yeah but uh nah yeah you're right you're right uh about the talent that's trash but like your shifu might have a better niche than because it's like always thinking about oh i want to just click my move and sure the other one has the advantage there but the other thing the other one in rain is no fucking joke Yep. Um, uh, no yeah, I, I definitely, joke. I definitely, yeah. When that I can have ten growth plus like a fairy to deal with Kingdra, even though King, even Kingdra can just overwhelm like a if, lot. But and when you get it gets U turn, and so yeah, yeah, the book had flip turn. That's what I say. And this one gets U turn too. Yo, rain, rain. Uh, it's funny because I always feel like rain is like good at the beginning of a meta game uh-huh. and sees like maybe a surgence as well, and then starts to die down a little bit. Like like in uh, Gen Seven, I thought rain was broken. Uh, in the beginning of the metagame. Uh, and then I, I lost to it in a few tournaments as well as the fact that, like, as I was, like, playing it, it was like, wow, this is mm-hmm. really overwhelming. Simply because Waterfall can flinch, by the way. Like, literally that. Uh, but then it, it took a dive, and then it came back mm-hmm. in tournaments as well. Yeah. Like, it came back towards the end of the metagame as well. So, um, interesting. Yeah. Like, rain is that. Also, it was, by, by the way, plus two. You do 33 to 30 to 40% to max defense talent flame with plus two dual wing beat. Brave Bird does 50 to 59%. I just want to keep that in mind. Do not use dual wing beat talent flame. <laughs> Please use Brave Bird. Take the recoil. You're going to, you'll appreciate, you might actually be able to get kills. 
Uh, you have to really set it up perfectly. And the, the big thing is it has to flare blitz. And you just take, like, it defeats the purpose of the dual wing. It's like, man, just get Town Flame's ability back, guys. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, uh, bro. We got, we got so many answers to it right now, too. Like, it'd still be good. Don't get oh, me wrong. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nasty. It'd yeah, be. it'd still be nasty. Especially being able to fast U turn as well. Oh, dude, but heavy duty boots. Oh, I wouldn't man. even, I wouldn't oh. even run Flare Blitz, bro. I would run Swords Dance. Uh, I mean, I, I keep saying, obviously, like, the standard Swords Dance, Roost, Flare Blitz, Brave Bird, but I run Swords Dance, U turn. Brave Bird Roost, like legit, it'd be like a scissor for me. Let's see, Let's see. That makes sense. I mean, like, Town Flame being back would put so many niggas in check. Like, All right, calm down, bro. You trying yeah. to rain me? You trying to rain me? Like, rain would be in Bandit Town Flame used to have niggas in check. Like, they, yo, watch your mouth. Dragapult, watch your mouth. I will destroy. I don't care how many DDs you get. Cinderace, watch your mouth when you're bulking up in front of me. Azu, watch your mouth when you're belly yeah, jumping. Yeah, bro, boy, belly jumps. <laughs> I get a guarantee kill. <laughs> like that guy was, ah oh, man, I, I miss him. I miss him, but you know, it probably, probably for the greater good. He was quite restrictive. I mean, it was, it was, it was uh, scarier in early VGC than it was uh, mm -hmm. for us. I mean, that's the only reason to touch it. <laughs> like, they don't care about our singles meta game. Oh no, oh no. But I like to believe they do, uh, with moves like. I don't know, fuck it, though. Single strike. I don't know. Wicked blow. But, I mean, that's just good. All the right. But, yeah. But, I mean, other than that, um, what do you think about Zam? Zam right now. Uh, so, I'm pretty... It's pretty under, underexplored for me. Um, I mm. did fight an Ndidi plus Alakazam team, and uh, they use Expanding Force Zam. I actually believe that later on in the metagame, in my opinion, like a Recover plus Nasty Plot. It got Nasty Plot as well as Expanding mm. Force. But I don't think Sp uh, Spanning Force is best on that Pokemon. I would say something like Psychic plus Shadow Ball or Psychic plus Focus Blast mm -hmm. makes a little bit more sense because like... You're not dependent, yeah. Yeah, you're not dependent, but also it... Uh, like even like Dazzling Gleam with like a Life Orb with obviously Magic Guard, like being able to break mm -hmm. Commando Buzz and things like that. Like I just think it's ability to be a Stall Breaker later. Um, I, I think right now is not the time for Zam personally. Mm -hmm. I think it, Zam has... Uh, it struggles a lot with getting in. I don't care if you have Volt Switch or anything. Like when mm. you get Zam in, like I have Magirna, like I don't care. But like, if let's say the metagame does shift to a, a mo let, let's obviously this is uh, talking about bans. But let's say, mm. you know, I, I I don't think they should or shouldn't. But let's say Magirna or Shifu gets banned, mm. I think that's gonna make Alakazam for sure rise up because at that point, uh, balance gets a lot better and Zam is a balance breaker. Like especially with Nasty Plot and Recover. Like Alakazam, Mega Alakazam used to come in and regenerator and trace it and just mm -hmm. come in, come out, do hits. But now that it has nasty plot, shoot, yeah. your, your toxic chance, I'm gonna nasty plot recovering your sure two size of tosses knock me out, but well that's an exaggeration. It's two fifty one. Mm -hmm. So three. But like I can nasty plot up and then break you. Oh you got underwear clef? Okay, cool. I'm gonna run psychic and get spadef drops like yeah. and break you anyway. Or or run Psy Shock if they're running all especially defensive because I mean they, I think they have to like Kiram has actually gone down a little bit in usage right now. So a little bit. I, Man, I, I haven't think seen that a lot. Kiram a lot, in a lot. years. I haven't yeah, seen yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, in yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine a lot. Fine a lot. <laughs> um but uh so so Clef is kinda like, hmm, I feel kinda safe right now not running especially uh, defensive, yeah. Yeah. I feel a little bit safe. And not, Dragon Pulse you know, are more physical too. Yeah. Dragon Pulse are physical now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Though I, I still think Specs Hex is incredible. In my opinion. Uh, that will always be a good set. But you can't spam hat like you can't guarantee just a bunch of toxic spikes like you, oh, you know forget, I mean? forget forget toxic spikes. I'm I'm leaning more towards Thunder Wave and oh, and course. Skull Burns Spoke at the moment. And Bilky M D we're talking about. For sure. Thunder Wave yeah. all day. Yep, hundred percent. All day Thunder Wave. I'll freeze you too if you don't if you don't I, <laughs> I, I was don't sad we didn't get I was sad we didn't get an auto freeze. Hex uh affects freeze. Uh, isn't Hex just based on status? It should be affecting Freeze. I, I, freeze. I mean, I guess Freeze is a status. I mean, I just never thought about Freeze. I know, the main, the, I know the main statuses are, are like, the Poison secondary electric, ones are considered, right. like, confusion and stuff, but the main ones are obviously Burn, Para, Freeze, and Sleep. So it should. Okay, okay. Burn, it's not Poisoning, like, too. It's five of them. Yeah, Poison, Poison, sorry, yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, there are five statuses? Pokemon is such a cool game when you think about it, but yeah. There's a lot of things. Like, to explain Pokemon to somebody is so fun, I feel. Uh, yeah. 
It's like actually a really cool like just so many interactions and possibilities. Like, dude, fucking fourth gen has been evolving, and it has nothing new. Like, you know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. All the generations, bro. Like we mentioned, the Gen Five. Uh, right, man. It's a, it's a, affected by a non-volatile status condition, uh, which is burn, freeze, paralysis, poison, uh, sleep, and 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 bally poison. Whereas the volatile status is, it doesn't affect. So I'm looking at them. They're confusion, you know, like the, like the bind and stuff like that. Confusion, uh, bind is considered a like, can't escape, which is block. That's mm -hmm. so cool. Ingrain type of thing, that's really cool. Curse, heal block. Oh, I didn't know those are all considered leech seed. It makes sense. Like if you stay there, you get hurt. That's cool. True, true. Yeah, in my book, I mentioned like stuff like leech seed because you have defensive and and uh. Like I think there were three actions you can take. You can switch, attack, and defend. And so people would ask, well, you know, where does protect fall? Um, then obviously that'd be defending because you don't do damage recovery. Yeah. Uh, Leechy is actually a interesting hybrid, but I think Leechy still is categorized as an attack. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, it gets pressure stalled, so. Yeah. So like it's still an offensive. Stealth rocks is still considered an offensive move. That's also and, that's definitely an attack. Yeah. You putting that's damage every turn, bro. That's yeah. the, that's those are the uh, those are the long range, mm -hmm. or I don't even know, long range or close range. Those are just those those are mines. Yeah, those You're are it's just in. passive passive damage. That's all. It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like a toxic. Yeah. If you think you're not attacking with Toxic, you got this game fucked up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, you, you miss it most of the time, but you know. <laughs> true, truth, truth, truth. But uh, yeah, I, I think Zam is. We'll see. It's a we'll see, man. I don't have too many opinions on it at the moment. Um, I think with the Ndidi, like, I think maybe Mega Zam with Lele, because those are just Ooh. good mods in it. Lele, I think Lele gonna be busted, bro. You think it's getting expanded for us? The way they're doing things, dude. I don't know if they'll I, give it. Like, I think they it would make sense, but but like, there's so many things that didn't get flip turned, that didn't get like Gyropult didn't get Poltergeist. Like I think they are mindful of certain things. Like why the fuck wouldn't Dragapult get Poltergeist unless they're like, yo, <laughs> let's, keep this, let's keep let's this, let's keep this nigga let's in check. Let's force the Dynamax. <laughs> let's force the Dynamax to do damage. Like, right? Let's keep this nigga in check a little bit. Like, Poltergeist is a little too, cause like there's literally no other reason. I don't think Aegis Slash got it either. You know what I'm saying? Did Aegis Slash get it? Let me see this. I feel like Age Slash didn't because I, I just made a video on this. Yeah, it didn't. Right. Like, they didn't give some of the strongest ghost types in in the game. This was like, oh, Dusknor. Yeah. Like, okay, bro. Like, you know, so I think. Wait, 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 wait. wait. They gave it to Gengar. Oh. Woo! Woo! I, I bet they're going to have like some base, uh, like 140 65. ghost Draco Meteor that Gengar is going to get. Um. <laughs> I hope it has contrary effects. Yeah, Ghost Draco. Speaking of contrary, I thought I, I thought for sure the old starters are coming back this time. Um, I did. I thought Serp at least, like stuff like that. But even then, like when those things come back, like a Serp, if you just inject inject Serp in this meta, it's over. It is oh Serp, unless it's an Among Us, because the hit power hit is huge. Like that's a huge, huge, huge hit for Serp. Um, in fact, maybe I'm hey, wrong shoot. about that. Hey, Superior might get mystical fire or burning jealousy. Who knows? <laughs> if they give that <laughs> shit mystical fire, that <laughs> yo, that I'm mod getting banned. That I, mod I, getting banned if it gets mystical fire, bro. There's I'm a huge difference too. Right. Bro, I miss, I mystical fire. Uh, uh, tornadoes come in and hurricane does forty. Uh, right. Right. As I I get boosts from evasion, like you're never hitting me by coming in on defog, dodge sub over glare over oh my that would be mystical fire glare um can you imagine dude that'd be nasty i don't see hold up i'm looking through this list real quick mm -hmm. uh because there was a there was a leak of the crown tundra pokemon i do not see superior on is that, that legit like in sense of like is it, that it, conclusive it might have been legit because they they leaked the other ones and there's some people that did it i can actually give you a a, a screenshot of it real quick but like is but, that like definite in the sense of that's all the mods uh my, i i i don't i think nothing's definite bro we got leaks before this is from this is from the guy who like basically gives us everything usually and so um, did did he get everything correct in the last leak uh besides well they, he data mines so it's different 
but uh besides like the new moves like we didn't know about like mm. like triple axle and things like that what do you think uh this is no nah, actually no nah, i'll save that for later um but i was gonna say genesis you know that's gonna be an interesting one another band i think so but you know uh it's interesting to think about and who knows man age slash ain't banned true true age, and age slash probably the perfect pokemon ever you know yeah. like in terms of defense and offense and what it brings to a team yeah yeah i'm looking at the list i don't see fucking arceus <laughs> <laughs> what is this dpp remakes bro uh dpp remakes so you, no, think, no. you think they're so slacking no. on the dpp mines on purpose yeah i do is there any deep what well, they have Palkia they, have, they have they have they have Palkia Dialga, they have they have uh the lake trio and then they have the uh then they have like the favorites like garchomp and the evolutions of elect uh electabuzz and magmar oh, and, 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 and he and obviously if you keep going you have heat ran hmm. Ladios coming back. The Lotties are yo. To they, get, they, get Tundra, Sphere, they get Aura Sphere and, and Mystical, Mystical Fire. Fire. Like they're just like, listen, y'all. Woo. <laughs> Fuck we've singles. We've been listening. We've been listening to you, Joey. Fuck singles. Fuck Scizor. Fuck T. Tyranitar. All of them. Literally I uncounterable. Oh, bro, but, dude, imagine you coming up with your Latios and then you go for Mystical Fire on Magirna as it goes for Flare Cannon. You live on like and recover and just eat. Yeah, and you recover and beat it up. That's it. I mean, even before Flur Cannon on defensive sets, you could they Megalodios, could lose. Yeah, Meg Megalodios, yeah. Megalodios, oh, Megalodios, yeah. And I think Mega's coming back. But I'm, I'm talking I, about Latios. Nah, I agree. I agree. And then Lot Scizor can't Lot feel comfortable anymore. You know the fact Whoa. that Scizor cannot feel comfortable. They took Pursuit out. They don't like niggas are really just trying to like okay, psychic types, run free, like it's, it's bro bro the way you're gonna be lottie now is you're gonna have to thunder with it. yeah <laughs> oh facts. you're gonna always have to thunder with i think always like i'm i'm thinking or unless they allow marsh shadow <laughs> or, or, right. or, yeah or like dragon dart like yeah. if they gave poltergeist to but it's gonna have but it's gonna have the four moves thing so i mean that is like an upside because he has just way too many moves yeah you either have the aura sphere or mystical fire then you have you have to run psychic for sure you have to or side shot because uh -huh. of toxic effects and then yeah. I mean I think and then if you forgo if you go psychic mystical fire you miss out on Hydreigon if you go uh -huh. psychic or spear you miss out on Scizor. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so I think there's a lot. it gets store power too though both of them like I mean Latias already had it but Latios gets it now too. Yeah, Latias is gonna be. I, I think Megas are coming back. Um, I do. So I do think, um, but it probably be next year, like yeah. the next DLC, because it just won a lot of the. Well, I, I guess like DLC. I told you before I like this. I I'm I yeah I'm down for have, it. Mm. I rather have Pokemon in installment. I mean, obviously, like you have to pay and whatnot. Know, the paying mm. it whatnot, but in terms of meta game, get meta game growth. Oh yeah, and enjoyability. Like people went from last week, Sun and Moon is uh, Sword and Shield is the worst meta game I've ever seen. So <laughs> this meta game is fire. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the spice ups every. So often. of course it sucks to not. I'm gonna and, have to not have RCS. Yeah, but. of course. Yeah, no, I get, and Ubers. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. But like, I, I mean, and of course the other thing is like, uh, one of the problems I think with uh, Ultra Sun and Moon is that, you know, I think certain mods should have been suspect tested, uh, or at least looked at, like you know, Mawal, Cartana, Magirna, whatever. I, I think they should have at least given the option to mm -hmm. look at them, right? Especially because of Z move. Mm -hmm. Um, so now we don't even have to wait for Smogon to like to shake yeah. up a meta game, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, Oof. yeah, I guess you're, yeah, you're right about that. Cause I mean, when Genesis, you know, that boy is all you for a little bit, and so you mean that's a week, bro. Yeah. Marshadow was all you for three days. Yeah, yeah, well, Marshadow was like literally never seen before, and so I understand why you know you try that out and whatnot. Cause it didn't look as broken as it was on paper. Yeah, like new uh, type. Oh. Only if you look at its stats, like. But then you're like, oh wait, hold on, it's more good, dude. And that's what I meant with Breloom and all that stuff. And so I think there is um, a Yushifu like niche. Like I think there's certain archetypes where it's gonna be just devastating versus, um, or like on a solid rain team. You know, like they're they're. I think they're. You know, would would I say okay on every situation or overall will it be better in singles than the other one? I can't say that. Um, but I just think we're quick to assume that because your Shifu is harder to switch into, it's better in every under every situation, what like period, and which isn't just this is not true. No, no, no. Though I do think overall, 
hot. Single strike is better than rapid strike. Just just because of natural counters. In right. That. But I agree with you. Like not in every situation, like you said, if if it's a freaking rain team versus even the sun team, you know, or just like in a situation where my rain answer is Tangrowth, right? It's uh it's so, it's maybe it's not solid, it's Rocky on the Tangrowth. Well, yeah, Barrasky flip turns gets in Kingdra. I, they hydro pump and switch to Magirna. Now granted max HP, max but Magirna is so bulky that it's not too a by hydro pump in the rain, mm -hmm. but that's only by a small percentage, right? I get a spike up, that's a different story. Type I, of thing. Like what I've what it comes to mind, dude, because I agree with what you just said. What comes to mind is like when I think about because rain is still somewhat incomplete, you know, torn and whatnot aren't coming until next time. And so torn gets nasty plot, which I think a lot of people have not really factored in, uh, which is a really big deal. Like I said, huge. Your heat ran, goodbye. Everything is dead if torn is a plotter. Plot life orb and regen, you're yeah. dead. So like if um torn plus like a two strong U-turners where because your Shifu one thing to the water one. It's one is defensive typing is very good, but also it is it pretty much guaranteed you have to go to the same things on it. Like you can't really mess around with like I'm trying to predict yourself. Like if that shit hits you. I don't care if you resist. If you're not a pex, you're probably gonna die in rain um, with a banded version. So it's like because I've, I've used that set and so I've seen the calc. I'm like holy fucking shit, man. Those crits add up, and so. If it's a U-turn combo, or if people just substitute it out, or just it's additional with Barrascuta, like you could have U-turn torn, U-turn Kings, or U-turn um, flip turn Barrascuta, like like this shit can really rock uh, you, man. Yeah, one thing, uh, one thing I was gonna mention because I uh. mean you're talking about it on rain that literally fits Torn's only problem. It has such a great move in Hurricane, but it's seventy percent. Mm -hmm. Like you're fixing that weakness, man. And I mean, like even like on just regular in general, bro. Nasty plot, folk, folk. You have to run focus blast, but right. if it gets scorching sands, because Charizard got it, then again, sure. Charizard fire type, and scorching sands sounds like Charizard should get it. Yeah. But um, it gets scorching sands, so it could deal with heat ran. Like, oh my yeah. god. When Zard yeah. Y comes back, we're gonna be seeing that scorching sand, bro. Tell That's me. gonna be so, dude. If it run and it gets hurricane, I'm gonna run it too. I don't care. Uh, Shoot. Uh, yeah, we actually might see some. Uh, I mean, uh, but you know, bro, bro, think about it, dude. What, what is, uh, what is one way people used to shut down Zard? They would go out into screw Pets. Solar Beam, like they would go out into freaking Pelipper to get out the rain. True, true, I'm a hurricane. True, true, Do it right now. True, true. Yeah, I mean, you did have I mean, I'm, some crazy I'm kicking, air slash. I'm literally, I'm literally clicking fire move and probably scorching sand plus roost the entire game anyway. Mm, scorching sand also for pecs. Like, yeah, can burn pecs like that's nuts can super effect and Kazard wise no joke like if that shit is in the sun it, it's what base 70 yeah it's, it's weak so like it, it, it's pretty weak but like nah. not being walled by heat ran is without having to run earthquake too you know what I mean like, without having that's... to run necessarily focus blast cause I don't think tar is gonna be prominent but we'll see man Shoot, so who cares much... tar come in bro I'm gonna burn it with my scorching sand <laughs> oh that's your life oh you can't get pursued that is huge like if yeah. you can't get pursued Scorching Sand uh, does 43 to 51 to physically defensive, so it, it's pretty weak. But, like, I mean, Stealth Rock and Burn to a kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Solar Beam, but yeah, you're right, you're right. Heat Train, you don't have to worry about missing, getting TKOs, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's, that's fun stuff, fun stuff. Yeah, All offensive, right. yeah, plain. Let's keep going. Yeah, um, because I want to hit on the, the more dominant ones, because a lot of old mods are still dominating. Talk about um, Barrascuda a little bit, like the, the huge change for rain. But before we hit on Barrascuda, I want to hit on some introduced mods. We, we kind of bounced around and touched on them, but we we're just going to couple them. What about Scizor and Slowbro? How do you think those are doing? I think Slowbro, uh, okay, so one thing I think is actually like legitimately nasty is Future Sight Slowbro plus Urshifu. Mm -hmm. Um Because it, it just it just tears apart all the answers. Like it forces you to go into your dark type on a wake up blow. Um, I mean, so close like I combat. Use, or even close combat, or even wicked blow in general, it doesn't matter. Or like, I, I mean, wicked blow is in like I don't have to predict when it comes to that mod, right? Like, they're if if I'm scared, they're gonna go crook, or if I'm scared, they're gonna go bish or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Like they'll do a lot, but yeah, close combat too. Same thing. Whatever. You can just click <laughs> your move. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so I think that's a really nasty combo. I think that uh, teleport is really good this region. I've like I said mentioned earlier with the Marowak all montage. Uh, that there are some slow and bro uh, that are running no 
item mm -hmm. in an attempt to wall Marowak. Now, like I said, I run Shadowbone personally most mm -hmm. of the time, unless I'm running. Uh, like, I guess it depends. Unless somebody else gives me the team, I like to run Shadowbone because I run mm -hmm. a lot of knockoff users when I play. Yeah. Um, or, again, it always depends on the team. But I think Slowbro is a great physical one. It's another. It's another pivot into. Uh, it's another pivot into uh, Rapid Strike Yashifu. It's a pivot. Yeah. In, it, can, yeah. it can deal with rain almost on its own. Yeah. Which is pretty cool because like even a Max HP Spex Kingdra doesn't kill with Draco. It Thunder Wave it back. Uh, it can deal with Barracuda. <laughs> um, Joey solution to every problem. Thunder Wave. Yes. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's in, in in that play style. Yes, though. I, I'm I'm joking, uh, but like you know. It, also, it just brings I've, back I've memories. Cobra, I've seen some Cobra Berry ones as well. Cobra, but that's dark. Oh, Yoshifu, okay. Yeah, for Yoshifu, and then you do Scald. Uh, Yoshifu doesn't have the best special defense, so you do about 50%, 50 you know. And maybe if you burn it, it's dead, but if you don't burn it, I'll switch. Um, so yeah, I, see, I, or something, I think, yeah. think Spellbro can do a lot. I think I've seen it on Trick Room as well, because Trick Room plus Teleport is really good, obviously. With yeah, yeah, I was hearing about what, who. Maybe you're the one who mentioned but yeah, I, was like, I, I might have, but also Porygon. I use Porygon as well. Yeah, yeah, that's who you were talking about. Marowak and talked about it. Yeah, in your video. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big thing, and like Trick Room got so many little toys with. Bro, it also got, it also got Misty Explosion, which is pretty cool because Magirna, Hatterene can all do it. Obviously, you know, blowing up your Magirna and blowing up your Hatterene isn't the best. Yeah, in my opinion. Nah. Uh, I think like Slurpuff benefits the most from that. But, the slurp of um because it, it can't trick him but in terms of sticky web like it can sticky web get the endeavor set off and then missy yeah. explode no no i was gonna say like uh i guess no i was gonna say i was thinking about the terrain boost but i guess that just there's just no way to have that um yeah because it's a special move right it's gonna be cool when top of Fini comes out but it, it is a special move yeah, yeah. yeah. um but yeah, I think Slowbro just uh, is really good defensively, and I think it pairs super well with your Shifu because, like I said, Future Sight, it's a reliable Future Sighter. Yeah, mm -hmm. It comes in a lot in the metagame, um, and it regens out. So, like, us having the introduction of regen again, um, mm -hmm. previously, we had Pex. <laughs> you know, we had Pex. Now we have Slowbro, Amoongus, and uh, uh, Tangrowth back, and then soon we'll have Torn back, too. So the core will be completed. The but core. The core will be complete. All right, then it's all five pieces of Exodia right there. Facts. Like it'll, it'll, be, it'll be so good. And I mean, granted, they can be taken advantage because we have like some new wall breakers. I think this is a nice metagame for Heracross because everything's not 500 base speed. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I like Slowbro in that regard. Uh, did you have much experience with Scizor, or you want me to talk uh, a little bit about it? No, nah, I haven't seen any Scizor. Um, I've actually used Scyther before. I've used Scizor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Bandit Scizor, I think is still the easiest to use because just bullet punch actually just hits so hard and mm -hmm. obviously if your team defensively has like clef and like even your shihu right like you're not going to take too many hits from it you'll take one and maybe mm -hmm. and then and hit a bullet punch well bullet punch first but um it's the u-turn is really difficult too as well with like i said the uh, the region and it's feature is really nice has knockoff for obviously marowak um i've seen swords dances or on like aurora veil mm -hmm. uh, with like swords dance bullet punch quick attack knockoff which i think is okay uh, quick attack obviously being there for volcarona right but uh and like cinderace too it does a ton to both of them um but I, yeah i think you know i don't think scissor will stay OU personally mm -hmm. um but i've also seen and this is one that you know i'm gonna use uh sand tomb that scissor ended up getting mm -hmm. and it does 80 percent to toxpex because it's technician boosted and toxpex can't freaking switch so even if it burns you or hazes it dies to the next attack. So wait, what's um what's Sand Tomb's? Sand Tomb is thirty five base power. It's it's eighty five uh, accuracy, and uh, it you know it traps. It's so it's yeah, it's physical. So it is it is legitimately there for uh, Toxapex. for toxic uh, for toxic. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I mean, it's like using Magma Storm Heatran right. uh, to deal with toxic That way, your team could actually you know win. So. Yeah. It's a it's a cool little like if you guaranteed want to like a world yeah whirlpool of, top of, of course type of course if you miss you're not gonna get that chance again mm -hmm. but that's probably but, like six counter so they can't really play around with that but yeah what when I say it does eighty percent by the way I'm taking into account the uh, the sandstorm damage as well okay. like the, the the sand damage I think because it does fifty seven to sixty seven to max defense mm -hmm. and then you have the sand tomb damage I see. 
So I'm thinking, and then you kill him with the next sand tomb as well after. So or like knock. that's a really cool or, or knock. knock. Yes, yeah. exactly or knock off, which is probably the better play. <laughs> no, I'm a it man does, about it my does like it does like two percent less, but as long as they're within twenty six to thirty one percent, you can kill them. So yeah. okay, Scizor is a. I don't know. We'll see. Like, that's another one. Like, I think it has its places. I'd have to see how the teams evolve. I think there's some teams it just eats, um, like, even without quick attack, it just eats. Yeah, yeah. I think one thing uh, also to note, my bad, is uh, that uh, dual wing beat from a life orb adamant technician scissor does more than plus two, or does about the same as plus two talent flames dual wing beat. Uh, neutral. To talk to back so like plus two dual wing beat does 65 to 70 65 to 77 percent to, to yeah. talent flame, the max defense talks back so it is a cool little like well, i think scyther obviously does it better it is a cool little tech for scissor too mm -hmm. yeah i think i think there might depending again how the meta evolves there might be a time where it, it opts for dual wing beat over like a bug bite or something um yeah. because uh, it just depends, right? Because like you know, if, if you don't want to run, I, I don't know. Like it's it's hard to say. I'd have to really see how the meta evolves because I might ninety percent of the time you're bullet punching. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, back in the day, uh, we did run in Gen Five when there was flying gem. We did run swords and acrobatics, acrobatics, uh, mm -hmm. scissor for Jellicent, but also for Amungus as well and Tentacruel. Mm -hmm. That's like like that strong neutral. Yeah, and so like that's a good point I, you know it, i don't know like it i i think maybe because even the acrobatic scissor is not like it was the most used set but it was it had its place and its purpose and so like when it was used it's not like it was a gimmick it, it was effective and so like in the same way i think you know in certain archetypes we could see a place for the dual wing beat variant um because flying is just also harder to deal with um but we'll see like i can't i can't vouch for dual wing beat that much yeah. to be honest with you um but it's all right and um so that's his or end so let's we can wrap it up we kind of touched on mcgirna um kind of touched on heracross a little bit touch on heracross um i mean heracross you can talk about it if you want uh i just think guts is guts is really good and SD. it's uh yeah it's yeah. it's, it's sd is good if you find the opportunity sd uh -huh. um and, and just its ability to you know be a status disorder but also just has good natural resistances it actually resists both dark and um dark and fighting so it can resist it, do, it doesn't take hits from oh, banded. oh no no yeah i know i was about to say like no, doesn't no take counter. It. it's not a counter <laughs> but it is it, but if it's facing it down it will live one hit right right it has Which very is, and it doesn't um it's one of the few things that um because you were talking about facade dual stab or even facade knock eq cc no mega horn like stuff along that nature if you know if you're running a slower team that just crumbles every last one of your minds. Pex dead, Hippo dead, Clef dead, like so Corver Knight dead. All these minds just drop. Um, so I think there might be a, a big place for if we do go back to more balanced teams as people, you know, maybe start incorporating some lower tier minds, getting new moves into the metagame, you know, things of that nature. Um because there's a lot of creativity to be had. I expect um, Gastrodon to rise back in usage, but that's not the only mind that you know exists. Like we could also see a surge back in some kind of Celebi. We may, you know, like just you never know. We may see a Mantine surge. You may see a fucking. I, I actually fought a Mantine. I, I still fought Metronome Mantine, even though Metronome isn't as good. <laughs> uh, but but it was annoying because it like it broke through my Rotom Tangrel core. I had I had uh, a Skull Fest beginner though, so I was able to just like draining kiss on Roost and then Volt Switch. And yeah. Eventually I beat it. But, but it wasn't uh, easy. Like fucking uh, wheezing. It's showing some usage. Yeah, I used uh, it today. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Oh, that was today. Okay. Yeah, I saw uh, Toxic Oak as well. Toxic or yeah, some guy posing me a max offense toxic girl that just beats your sheep. Like the niggas have had enough. But I'm um, like, you know, you just never know. Like who knows? This might be Appleton's time. Uh, who knows? 
Like it's it's just it's just Vaporeon has been seeing some you just never know what could shine through with a bit of creativity. Um Gastro I think was technically still in you even though like in tournaments it would get so much usage. Yeah. Um you know, Kafag cannot come back to glory, unfortunate. But you know, you know, just 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 very cool things that. Hey, hey, but the rune gets poltergeist now, so. <laughs> oh no, that's the game changer right there. And more Pico is on its way now. Um, more Pico. But like, I, I'm just more. I like to keep things open ended because you just never know. Like I was notorious in tours for bringing odd shit because like you know that Kafak team you love so much and that brought you so much pr- who the hell would have brought a damn like in a serious people thought that was a meme until they got 6 0 by that Kafak and then they saw what was really good and I was using it all the time as well on top of you like that team was my favorite right but but I'm saying like if somebody saw that they'd be like oh Joey's just you know like they don't understand yeah like you're gonna get swept if you don't play properly like very easily too like very easily um and so stuff like that i think about man you know what what else could be a thing if we open our minds a little bit like i don't know maybe we see a stoutland metagame like you just you just never know man yep um and so Medigame, oh, a lot they shift a lot uber is gonna be interesting but we'll see uh, hopefully they have enough new toys to wear some shit can happen. I mean, Cinderace is still a beast, all that. Um, but yeah, you know, Kingdra is pretty self-explanatory. But we can touch on Kingdra and Barracuda at once, since you uh, you were mentioning those. Uh, I think that Barracuda. I mentioned it in my flip turn, um, my flip turn video, or my my video where I talked about the moveset, set. But I think that this is such a huge thing for Rain because uh, one of the issues with Rain is that like you have limited turns to work around. Um, Because it's an offense of sorts and you have very limited switch-ins. There's no defensive range styles like there were in Gen 5. Mm -hmm. um, And due to limited turns. So uh, the cool thing about Young Barrascuta is that it's (laughs) so strong. (laughs) It's so strong with a choice ban and in rain. And like, yeah, let's say you're, 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 I use a Galarian Weezing. I'll take an example from my video. My Galarian Weezing could take one hit in rain, right? It could take liquidation, so I tried to play. I, I mean, I had to eventually switch it in because my water was just quote unquote. Mm-hmm. But um, I brought it in on like, if, if Barrascuta comes in on a Pokemon that it can kill with liquidation, it doesn't have to click it. It can click flip turn as you're going uh-huh. out to something else. So, and that's a huge thing because a lot of the mods that deal with Barrascuta, Amoongus, uh, I mean, that depends on Psyche fans, but Amoongus, Tangro, uh, maybe Rotom Wash, Lesser Scent. Uh, whatever they don't want to be taking you know specs draco specs hurricanes now mm. from king Kingdra also got it so it allows rain to really use its turns to the biggest advantage because it can just you know it can just flip turn on out of there mm. and instead of getting a kill and then hard switching into your pivot on rain which in the past would be feral thorn or now still feral thorn feral thorn or you know tornadoes depending on what type of rain you're running um you can now just take have offensive momentum the entire time which is a huge for rain. It's a, it's an mm-hmm. offensive team, so it wants momentum always. Like it doesn't want to nick. Uh, it doesn't want to. Uh, what's it called? It, it it doesn't want to give up momentum and then have to throw away their rain mon and try and win in those seven turns after Pelipper dies, right? Mm-hmm. So it, especially, it's 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 a, it's a huge it's a huge. Uh, especially addition. if Grin. Well, I guess if you said that's the full list, then it is what it is. But I was gonna say, especially if Grin comes back, you know, um, like Ash Grin was quite the thing quite the mon uh under rain and so you do not want to be staring down rain ashed grin um with water shuriken which is it's an interesting compliment to your shifu like they're almost you know kind of the ninja looking like that just makes me think of that uh but yeah that's uh it's a pretty i agree with your assessment i mean uh it's clean man and yeah. king Dragon and hurricane is so cool too because like you might think, oh man, that doesn't matter. It has Draco, but I can click Hurricane on Amoongus, Tangro. Mm. Uh, I can, and I can confuse Pokemon coming in too. It's a strong neutral move too. Yeah, for like those mid ground hits, because you'd have to decide. Okay, you might go Primarina on the Draco. Or or, Ice yeah, game. or if they have Slowbro plus Amoongus, dude, uh, I'll just Hurricane for a nice two a KO on both or an Oko on one of them. You know? Right. 
so you don't have to like oh I need the Ice Beam Among Us or I need the Draco which doesn't get the kill but may kill King Slowbro and it's like stuff yeah. like that. You I I don't think you ever have to run Ice Beam now on King Draco. I think you run Hydro Pump, Surf, Draco Meteor, and Hurricane. And if you want to try Flip Turn, you try Flip Turn. Like I don't think Ice Beam needs to be ran. Period. And now it can actually hit a zoom reel for some serious damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Serious, serious damage. Um, and then AV grow. I think it was always too killed by ice cream. Fire call correctly, but you know. Uh, we can run the we can run the calc right now, bro. We have this. We have the technology. So the tech. hur hurricane hurricane does fifty six to sixty seven percent, whereas ice beam actually it might not have been too killed, bro, or at least really close. It does forty six to fifty four. So it was it was a close. It was close. sixty four percent. But now now it's a guaranteed to a kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And pex neutral hit versus that. It's not doing crazy amounts, but you. 3k i'm sure yeah i mean um, if it's physically defensive you throw a ko uh mm -hmm. with the yeah and like you have the confusion chance as well exactly like it's just it's just they were like all right kingdra because i mean there was really no reason it should have gotten it like it was there was no like logical reason like oh now it's the time like they just was like yeah let's give kingdra a little toy um should have both the special attack too, but yeah uh getting a nice uh 383 but <laughs> like, broken yeah break games bro but last but not least um as we wrap this up actually i guess in the we pair Azu. volko or i guess azu we didn't I'm, touch on volko run either yeah i was vulcan azu let's put those together chance he's gonna be the last one you should take volk though jam i think i actually I have news volk too much i mean i have but I, di I didn't actually sweep with it i don't think have you played it a lot or have you played it a bit? I mean, I'm gonna have an opinion on vote, but like yeah, I just yeah, haven't, yeah. So, I haven't played enough. I guess, I guess one thing that Volk really, obviously, the heavy duty boots is the big mm. thing that Volk benefits from. Um, it's very tough to take a kill with a Pokemon that allows Volcarona to set up, mm. uh, because you know if you have Stealth Rock up, you know Volcarona will be at fifty percent usually, and like, oh, okay, cool, I can revenge it with something else, like. like my Dragapult's at 100%, so it can't die to plus one Psychic, and I could just drop a Draco Specs and it'll kill at 50%, but no, you know? Uh, I can't T-Spike wear it down, so like, Volcarona, definitely a, uh, a big offensive threat, and uh, I actually haven't seen Roost as much. I've just been seeing Quiver yeah. 3 attack, but it's like late game Quiver 3 attacks. Like, it waits for its opportunity to come mm -hmm. in, and it doesn't even have to set up. It just, like, right now, you just Psychic. You fire yeah. a move, whatever. You do that right now, and then, you know, you, you get the chip, and it can, it can be played differently because there's no there's there's no it doesn't have to worry about hazards. Right. And, yeah, yeah, previously you needed like, you know, if you're running Volcarona, you need two rapid spinners, a magic balance user, and true, you know, true, true. Now who cares, man? Run Volc on whatever you want. You throw that shit Run out. Like, you throw out a extra drill, no hazard taking like, zero. Yeah. 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 That's it. I actually think that one style that Volcarona is gonna really like is I, I and I haven't seen it yet, but like Aurora Veil plus Volk mm -hmm. sounds nasty. And I think one of the big things about Volcarona is it's uh, base 100 speed tier. You know, faster than Shifu, faster than Hydreigon. Um, uh, and, and like while you know it doesn't do too much to Rotom if Rotom doesn't have Toxic, and even if Rotom has Toxic, at that point you might be swept uh, yeah. either way. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's 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 such a crazy offensive pivot and i do think that as more mons are introduced and as metagames start to shift and as bans maybe happen uh you might even see you're seeing roost quiver dance more uh, as well like bulkier variants uh, mm -hmm. when cartana comes back mm -hmm. so who knows i think i think uh we might see it sooner than you think it's mm. just a matter of um there's not actually too much currently that prevents it because right now people deal with it by assuming that it's defensive i mean offensive offensive yeah and so like a lot of things um i'm even thinking about that that sand scissor you were talking about um like if you trap a haze pex or like you figure out a way to remove pex or you're just gonna double down on psychic because bug buzz is very situational like you rarely ever click it and so if it's like one of those where you're just kind of slow setting up um mm -hmm because of the style of the metagame very few pokemon other than just a hard toxic even if you're defensive can come in and take a hit from you unless it's like a chancy or something and so i think it, it's very possible to start seeing like volt being used as you said in a different way to where it's like okay well i'm not gonna use it in just 
uh, set up sweep, um, bada bing bada boom kind of way. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, one of the best, one of the best uh, offensive checks. I, I use offensive in quotation just for the thick club, but like Marowak. But you know, if you are inevitably just going for fiery dances or psychics as Marowak is coming in, you're chipping rocks. away at a point where I could later do it. And rocks as well. That's a big thing. Uh, Marowak doesn't like to run heavy duty boots. Shouldn't be. But I mean, I've seen some heavy duty boots for yeah. death. Uh-oh. But like toxic yeah. knockoff. Yeah, I've seen some. And I, I use leftovers back in Sun and Moon. So who knows? Uh, well, I guess that's just using Marowak as. I think that could have a role because of wish and teleport and all this stuff. so i think i think for the first time because wish wishing is not say necessarily easier but it's is more consistent reliable yeah than it was prior and so i can definitely see if marowak is just your dedicated because when it's when it's wall and it walls like that's <laughs> one thing about marowak when you're getting walled there is no hope and it's just it has just the right typing to be annoying as shit and so when you were a pheromos or a top when you were a wall like it's it's over like there's no way around it um and it's just such a hard mind to switch into as it is so even if it's not carrying the club it's not doing crazy amounts of damage but it's typing is so incredible if you're not getting toxic you're probably getting um uh, defense drop with the shadow bone or the fire punch burn or Whatever they've run, set up the rocks. It was just very annoying to deal with. Very, very annoying. And so maybe I could see a case for like some, like Hita Fajita stall with Marowak with sub or something. Um, but I do think the the definitely the big club set is far superior. Yes, always far far superior. You know, Zoe's passionate about that. It's his favorite mod right now. I mean, favorite mod still pulp, but definitely to use it has to be Marowak. Yeah. Your favorite mana in general is Pult now? Uh, no, no, my favorite mana is always Suicune, but I'm oh. talking about from this from this generation. It's Dragapult. It's all, I think it's all, it's been Dragapult since the beginning, but Marowak, you know, climbs up there every single time it comes out. I just have so much fun. Like, I'd use it every day. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I could tell. Like, it, it, yeah, oh. Dude, it's it's crazy, though. Like, there's I, I'm, I'm having so much fun playing. Like, this is so, this metagame is so enjoyable. Um, and like every day, I'm like, oh man, what am I gonna use? I still haven't used uh-huh. Volcarona. I, I still haven't used Volcarona. I've just played it. Yeah. I still haven't used Scizor. So uh, much. Well, I, yeah, I use Scizor a little bit. Milk but, tank. <laughs> yeah, like, like bro, even like I'm serious though. Like even anything that has a niche. Uh huh. Shoot, I haven't used Dredagon. Dredagon got scaling, uh, scale shot now. Uh-huh. That could be pretty cool with Sheer Force. I had uh, one of my um, my patrons mm-hmm. give me a really fun set, so I'll try that out. You know, mm-hmm. I'll speak of which I have to record a Patreon on video today, but. Yeah, Com- like I'm comfy. Having... Comfy. Oh my god, that mod has That was like your favorite team. lower tier mind of all time. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And uh, of course we can't forget Miss Pinky. Uh, I guess we didn't did we discuss Azu? No, we haven't. What's uh, No. Azu's fairly straightforward. I mean I've used Azu quite a bit. Um same shit. I it did it's doing exactly what I figured. Uh it's, it's good. problematic. It's good. Yeah, it is if you don't have particularly offensive style, if you don't have a, if you're facing something like a Grim Snarl dual screen Azu, and your Azu check is an offensive water resist, you're probably gonna lose that game. Or if you're facing Aurora Veil, vale, you're probably gonna lose that game. Cause with Aurora Veil, vale, if Azu's on there, they probably have a Bishar Vulcan, this Dragapult, like they're gonna overwhelm likely whatever it is outright. Cause they have so many setup sweepers. And so by the time that Azu comes in and it's fat as shit and it's just chilling, you might think he's going to go for belly drum and it just attacks you. And that was like your only way. Like it was Dragapult versus Azu. And you're like, oh, well, shit, I got to attack it because if it drums, if I switch out and switch back in, rocks plus hail, I lose. And then it just attacks you and then you lose to Bisharp from there or something. So it puts so much pressure because ultimately... I mean, what are your water resists in the tier that aren't faster? Offensive dragons. You don't really have, I mean, other than like, say, a Rillaboom or something, but they're all offensive dragons for the most part. Um, the Hydragons, the Dragapult. Um, I feel like there's one more I'm forgetting, but you get the idea. Yeah. Um, it's just that my Aqua Jet just it chunks away so much. Mm-hmm. Even, like on, even like on Rainbows, you can run Azu, and that, the fact that it. Uh, the fact that it gets that little boost makes a huge difference yep. for actually KOing like the resisted Pokemon. 
big, 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 big difference. Um, big difference. But that Aqua Jet is just so unresisted. Um, and Dragapult is so easy to chip. And, and Mel Cartana to take 40% from plus six, you know? Right, right. That just, you can always just guarantee. Even, even, even Keldeo. Yeah, Keldeo takes about half. Yeah, Keldeo. All right, Keldeo got air slice. Now, I thought it would get some more usage because of that, but no. Nah. Um... <laughs> I still think Keldeo may have a niche. I I, I just have, I don't have the time to explore these mods like I used to. Like some teams, you have like Keldeo, for example, on a certain type of team just is like metagame defining. But maybe Keldeo isn't necessarily the top five splashable mod. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, the acrobatic scissor teams they'd have some teams that were just like solid all around. But would I say Acrobatic Scissor was the best set? Not necessarily. It just was effective on that team. You know? Um, and so that's... Ozzy is pretty straightforward. Do you have any thoughts you want to share on that? I think Bandit uh, could have some niche as well. Um, if Tangrowth and stuff doesn't pick up in Amoongus, it could be pretty cool. Although it obviously has... I think it's the best thing is just it's... It's, it's Belly Drum set easily. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's... It losing out on Z moves is pretty big because it can't belly drum from like two HP <laughs> if it wanted to. But um, it's natural resistances. It being good on offense. It being good on rain, um, and also like forcing you to stay in so it doesn't belly drum is a big mind game too. Because like you know you stay in with your your uh, Cinderace or something. Probably yeah, your Cinderace and do that, and it just decides to aqua jet you. <laughs> Kill you. Oh, yeah. 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 So I, I like that with Ozzy's, uh, but I think belly drum is a lot of it. And uh, so Chansey was last, right? Mm -hmm. Big boy, I think Stall has the possible, uh, the chance to be as busted as ever been. There's no Z moves, there's no Megas, there's no Dynamax to give you that added oomph to smack Stall. Obviously, you know, you have mods like your Shifu, we have Bulk like that, but we the, the we do have Breakers now, but the Breakers we have aren't like what we had before, right? There's no Hoopa, there's no yeah. Cartana. You know, there, there's Mega nothing like Mala. that. There's no, there's no, there's no Landers. There's no Mega Mall. There's no Mega Meta Champ. So, um, Chansey, obviously, I think even Chansey offense is really good too. Uh, Marowak, I, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm more open to using Chansey offense now, just because Volcarona can be very annoying. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen a lot of Chansey offense, like Chansey plus oh, Pax. Oh man, I can just imagine. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of them, a lot. Um, but again, like that's the type of thing. That's why I think Rotom Heat, like like I said, nasty plot. Like I seen yeah. Thunder Wave chance of the toxic, which I think is really Thunder Wave can help be, like mm -hmm. I guess defensive. I mean, offense. Excuse me, offensive one better, but it definitely loses to defensive, uh, Volcarona too. But also, like again, that just loses to nasty plot Rotom because you just tank the Thunder Wave because you're electric, and then mm -hmm. you uh, paint, paint split up when you get low and nasty plot up. Discharge uh, for two percent, but with enough <laughs> power axes, you win. Yeah, <laughs> especially because it can't seismic toss, can't waste a turn seismic toss. Yep. Yeah, and if it, if it does try and do that, I mean, they they what do they have? They have mandibles, they have everything. Shoot, they got underwear cleft, get discharge paired. <laughs> so just wow. I don't know. It's it, it's just a big thing. Yeah, Chansey, like, I haven't seen it yet. He gets teleport. He gets teleport now too. Can't wish to teleport though. Not yet. Oh. In due time. Well, who knows? Like, Chansey's a. I think it's, it's it's gonna do. I don't think Saul has evolved like it wants to yet. And and you know yeah. if if they do ban certain things, then we'll really, you know, Saul's one of those play styles. It doesn't ever ever just come up out the gate. You know, it it's one of those things that the Saul players go in their cave and they rub their hands and <laughs> chill for chill for chill for a month and a half and be like, okay, I'm starting I'll to watch see this. Mm. Starting to yeah. see the patterns. Okay, okay. So let me slap this quag together, and da, da, da. and then you're gonna see quag sets start to evolve. I've seen some haze ones and all that. So like, you know, you're gonna start seeing because I mean those zap dose stalls that used to exist and stuff that wasn't shit. Those weren't combinations you used to see. And yeah, then, I, I mean, it, it's uh, dude. Even looking like look, um, this guy's 1911. Look at the team he's using. Like that's not a team I would think I would see. Dude, they got Shedinja, Necrozma, Chansey, but then they also have like Zero Aura, Togekiss, Mandiba. So it's like it's mm. really it's sub toxic Zero Aura too. So it's taking advantage of you know everything. I love sub toxic Zero Aura too. Mm. But, but yeah, it is, it's kind of clean. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Necrozma is something we could actually see like doing some shit too. Like I think that's underexplored. Um, not too many I new mines that came 
are necessarily like checks. Tough. Yeah, it's it's tough to justify uh, Necrozma at the moment because it doesn't really have a way of killing your Shifu, um, even if you run like Cobra Barrier or something. But that's just but, one, that's just one mod. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, this time this team has like five toxic users. I'm looking at it, and it only has eight. It only has eight of those attacks. But I mean, yeah, or just forcing your Shifu on Heat Wave. You know, it's always gonna go to it. Yeah. Um, but who was it? Uh, ABR used something similar and beat the Mandibus because Mandibus yeah. was it. So, yeah. yeah. You know, like it's not as cut and dry. Oh, of your Shifu is in the tier, so I can't use like. No, 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 no. I I just think that like a well played your Shifu will. Well, no, it won't make a difference. But I guess if it's a well played Necrozma, it can match up because he course. was probably going to do around 40% your Shifu because it doesn't have good stuff. I mean, shit. If, I, if your Shifu is your counter and I have a Necrozma, tell me you won't go to it because otherwise you're going to pay. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, with, it's not as cut and dry as, oh, well, uh, your Shifu. But then obviously, ST members, if they have Rocky Helmet, it only takes a few rounds of Rocky Helmet and still it's Rock. Before you know it, um, he rock polishes it and mercs you. It's, it's just not as I just want to really emphasize more so for the viewers. Like things just aren't as cut and dry. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't mean them literally either. But I should definitely work on uh, how I say it. Cause uh, I mean, you could beat a lot of Pokemon <laughs> with anything. Shut I mean, zero aura, zero aura beating Tangrowth because of uh, what's it called? Because of sub toxic. Oh, Shell Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I'm watching this game, uh, this dude actually, well, the dude got really impatient, uh -huh. but like I'm, I'm just watching like it tear apart mons. Like he, he threw away his extra drill. What, the Shel other guy Shel had not Shelmet. <laughs> I was like, why am I not seeing this replay? G? I'm, I mean, I'm watching it live on the side <laughs> while we're doing because I just, you know, you were talking about how Stall does it, and like so I just started watching like the higher ladder games. Yeah, uh, as we're talking, gives me an example. But that's what I love, by the way. Like that's not a team composition I would think, you know, to see. You mean the Necrozma Zero or so? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Like God, that stuff like that is like you know. This is what um, makes this medic so exciting. Just, just, you know, you just never know what you're gonna get run up on, and so like you gotta be very cautious on this fucking ladder because they will pull up on you, bro. They They'll will, come through right now. They will like. They sucker punch Dragapult with mixed fire buttons of the Drake. Like, it's just so many possibilities, and there's no reason not to explore them. I mean, like, it's a fresh meta game. You want to see what's good. You know, Choice Card, Moxie, Cross, Mac. Like, you don't know, man. You don't know. And fighting is legit right now. Um, paired with the right thing. Like, it's, it's legit. Uh, so, Moxie Cross could, like, see some usage. Um, like, Cool Sand Trap. Um, Scizor like somebody could make a team where like bet I'm gonna sand trap you if you don't go to pecs I merc everything else so yep. I'm taking your pecs whether you like this or not and so boom pecs is gone and that just opens up their scolipede I don't know like you know like it's just just so many cool interactions that can be had so exactly anything else you want to add before we go any honorable mentions nothing we didn't touch on that you'd want to talk uh big shout out to like you know my moms <laughs> um but but no I, I mean i think there's a really cool ones like to explore like i think uh, scrappy x cloud uh with boom burst has mm -hmm. a really cool mm -hmm. little you know news in terms of breaking i think that anger point crooked out is really fun with choice scarf mm -hmm. um because you know as long as you have a regen mon plus plus crooked out and they go for wicked blow you bring it in mm -hmm. it gets close combat now so it actually has a really spammable move instead of superpower from before mm -hmm. i think I think Lycan Rock has some break-in potential as well, and um, yeah, even Poly, uh, even Porygon Z, like yeah, Porygon, Porygon Z, Z is Porygon Two. You said they got teleport as well, right? Yeah, teleport too. Right. Yeah. So for Trick Room, Trick Rooms, uh, yeah, it's huge. I don't see people using it. I haven't faced any Trick Room though. Maybe one like the first day, but like I think Trick Room is gonna definitely see a spike once that Ultimate Trick Room team has been constructed. Um, exactly. And people just copy that shit. Um, that's gonna be pretty thick because conk is still devastating like there's just so many fun toys to use hatterene gets healing with magic bounce and is devastating offensively it's just trick room has so many toys rain has so many toys sun got some toys um cinderace is still a pokemon <laughs> like when the hype dies down that shit is still a problem be careful roll yep. boom grassy slide Don't grassy sleep. glide Bruh. let's 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 fucking party y'all like 
the Dane. You know what I mean? That's just it's, it's it, it got dazzling, it got dazzling gleam for the first time. The Dane, it has, yeah. It didn't have moon blast. It, it didn't have that. It didn't have that. It didn't have moon blast. No. Really? Yeah. Why that's why everybody that's why everyone random battle sub toxic recycle thunderbolt. Wow. Why was this created? I don't know. It's a Pikachu clone, dude. Yeah, but like, why, why waste the time? Like, could have had. They gotta make a Pikachu clone. Nah, they don't have to. They can stop this madness. Hey, more Pico probably one of the best ones, and uh, and I think uh, what's it called? What's it called? Togedemaru could have been amazing if it got spikes. Yeah, Mimikyu is kind of. I mean, it's quite literally a Pikachu clone, but I don't think it falls in the category. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. It's 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 Togemaru from that generation. Yeah, yeah. But shoot, like this was our longest episode yet. But I figured it'd be the case because we had a lot to talk, a lot to why, discuss. Why did this dude forfeit? Well, is it like a tournament? I'm watching the game. No, I'm just watching the game. The, the, this flying taco dude could have been True Believers team. He had the tools. But yeah, I, I think yeah, we we got a lot. We talked about a lot. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. It's always a pleasure. Oh boy, um, it's always a pleasure uh, to have my boy Pokey. In. But just you know, we've been boys for years, so yeah, it's not just a it podcast. Yeah. It's a movie. It's a movie. <laughs> Facts. But uh, yeah, bro. You know, again, thanks for taking time out today. Uh, it was fun yeah. chopping it up. Uh, and I know our viewers and listeners are gonna be like they love shit like this in the background cooking learning on the metagame so they'll definitely appreciate it um and yeah until next episode guys hit the like button if you enjoy to keep on the contrary coming hard uh, i know a lot of you guys enjoy it but then you know if, i'd love to hear your thoughts this is supposed to be discussion based so i'd love to hear your thoughts um, things we can improve on yada 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 and uh yeah any last words bro ah that's it guys see y'all next time all right, bros. Peace.